Hello and welcome to No Man's Sky, everybody. Elon Paul here, and uh, this is my permadeath playthrough that I'm doing. We're doing the epilogue episodes. We're doing the after the main episodes. We've already gone to two different galaxies. We're really progressing along really well. We have a new um, secondary mission that came up called A Trace of Metal that we have yet to do. So we're going to be doing that as well as we're going to probably go on to the Atlas Eternal as well. We haven't done those yet and that's brand new with the Omega update. So let's go ahead and do Trace of Metal. Uh, what we've done is when we were fighting the Sentinels in our settlement, we ended up with a new device in our inventory and here it is, the undamaged drone shell. So what we're going to do is we're going to head up. It tells us to go talk to Tethys. Tethys is up here. You see there's the little icon up there. He stands, stands near the multi-tool disassembly unit. And you can talk to him. So let's see what's going on. Let's get this started. Tethys scans the room, their narrow eyes darting rapidly back and forth. After a slight hesitation, they erupt in a flurry of excitement. Deceit, imposters, betrayal, suspicion. They have eyes everywhere, traveler. Eyes everywhere. But I am not without my own methods. My network sees much of its own. But first, tell me in your own words exactly what happened at your settlement. So we're going to describe these new sentinels. Hmm. They have never shown mercy to those who try to build on planets. It is a constant. But this is new. Unexpected. We must learn more. Reveal the recovered drone shell. Tethys holds the drone in their hands, gently turning it over and over with a softness I had not anticipated. Forgive me, Traveler. They have chased me for so long, but I have never seen one so close. Perhaps this one is our key. I could restore it, remap its mind, our own link to their infernal hive. Yes, yes, it would only take a few new components. I shall begin at once. See what you can source from the others. Source from the others? <clears throat> well says, speak to other traveler iterations. So basically, we want to wander around the anomaly and talk to others. First, we'll talk to Mercury. Do we find you well, portal adept? Explained Tethy's plan. These drones are not the malicious force some imagine them to be, portal adept. I believe the sentinels to be a vital, life-preserving function of the cosmos. I am heartened that Tethy's begins to see sense. I will gift you this... Phylactery. It holds a whisper of the eth of the ether that flows within the portals. Tethys will understand how to make use of it. Okay, portal phylactery. Fascinating. All right, we got somebody else we need to talk to. Who do we need to talk to? Who's that? Oh, Ariadne. Yes, of course. Um, actually, I went the wrong way. I could have went out the window and gone back around, but that's okay. We'll just go down the ramp right over here all right what is they what do they have to say Ariadne's face seems to swim as I stare at them I shake my head and clear my vision focus Ariadne may have other things Tethys needs to restore the drone explain Tethys plan why would I have anything like that I they begin to cough they seem ill apologies I have not been myself lately I do not think I can help you like traveler oof kind of blew me off didn't he all right i'm gonna go speak to helios you know that thing's been rearranging these barrels for like as long as i can remember you think at some point they'd stop rearranging but hey you know whatever all right helios oh actually it's sending me to gemini for some reason okay let's talk to gemini Gemini nods thoughtfully, seemingly lost some strange calculation. Reveal Tethys' plan. Tethys is doing what to a sentinel drone? My friend, this is madness. The robots are not our friends. Explain the drone may be rescued. My eyes long for beauty, traveler. But these sentinels are unthinking parasites, tearing down anything that may elevate us. But... You are, I suppose, building something new, taking that cursed shell and constructing something better. I will help you, but please keep safe. Take my nanite filament, that your drone may remember me when it awakes. Okay, so you got a nanite filament. And it looks like we're going to be talking to Hesperus as well. Like Hesperus. Hesperus smiles, happy to see me. Real Tethys plan. 
Oh, kindred, be careful. Even with the best of intentions, we can make such mistakes. The blood of sentinels, it brings only lies. Does Polo know what you are doing? It would be both considerate and wise to let them know. Okay, then. Let's head up to Nada and Polo and see what they have to say. Polo first. You are building something, friend? Yes, I recognize it in you. Explain about the drone. You are brave, traveler friend. You always have been brave. You may tame your little robot. You may not, but it will always be made of glass. It cannot exist in our home. Take these beads. Yes, it will help to bind them to you. You will be a good robot master. Okay, so we got the third item that we needed. And we need to go to Tethys and provide them to him. Okay. So it looks like we're not talking to Polo about it. Uh, pardon me, Nada about it. And pardon me, I do like to do some voices once in a while. Forgive me. Tethys. Tethys is deep in thought. They fix me with an inquiring stare. Enquiring stare, pardon me. And over components. This handful of junk is what they gave you? No help at all? Ah, well, I can make it work. Tethys takes the damaged sentinel shell and my components. With them, the strange metallic being is reconstructed. Just let me... hear... nearly... Aha! It's alive, or I'm fairly confident it would be if it weren't for Polo's suppression fields. Its system readout just keeps repeating the word glass. You'll have to take it away from here for a field test. Traveler, take care of it, won't you? Alright, so we got a sentinel flare. Current state is off. Okay. So, uh, field test the drone at your settlement. Okay, let's go ahead and head for this. Actually, we don't have to go that way. Let's take the portal. We'll just go back and forth. I'll show you a little trick there. Do, 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 do. You want to do your bases and choose settlement. There we go. Off we go. Now, I get a funny feeling, uh, the... Anomaly, I don't think is in the same system as my settlement right now. Or else we would have popped up at the settlement almost immediately. So, we'll have to wait just a couple moments here. And here we are. Please tell me we're not going to get into another fight. I'm not in the mood. Okay, good. Alright. Are we ready? So, we go into our inventory of our exosuit, of course. And here is our sentinel flare. I'm going to move it over here in the corner. Um... While I'm here, hang on just a second here real quick. How we doing? 500. I got 67 extra. There. Okay. Just going to make some more so I have it. All right. So we're going to hit the E. And there it is. I guess we need to talk to it. Fault detected. Reverting. Core cognitive functions available. Higher processing disabled. Gzzzt. Fix gzzzt of the gzzzt. class, 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 class. It just keeps repeating that. Input required. Select restart routine. All right, so should we purge the memory, defrag the file system, or flush the cache? Let's try the cache first. I'm going to go backwards here. Cache access denied. Locate update signal required. Sentinel pillar node detected. Coordinates locked, awaiting network proximity. We download the coordinates. And Sentinel navigation coordinates requ required. All right, so we got to go to the coordinates. Uh, where's my ship at? Uh, that way. Hold on. Nine minutes and thirty-three seconds. Yeah, we'll take this. We'll take the. Uh, we'll take the craft. Thank you. The sentry group um way to go did we pass it already are we that close to a sentinel pillar oh my gosh we are it's literally right in front of us Holy mackerel. I didn't know there was a sentinel pillar right here. Cool. Excuse me. Alright. So we want to go to the terminal. 
Hello, we are doing team, the sentry says. That's hilarious. Okay. Fill the control. Uh, operational. Leave. Oh, we've got to destroy the nodes. Well, you know what we're going to have to do then, right? One, two, and three. Okay. Yeah, let's grab these two while I'm at it. What we should probably do, though, is we should probably head over there and, like, shut down the whole network real quick. I don't feel like a uh, Sentinel battle, battle right now. Okay, so what do we got? Uh, best schematics, glass structures, language files. Okay, we're going to stop the exosuit down. No, permit the integration. My exosuit completes its valuable work, though I'm unsure what exactly it was attempting to do. Words flashed before on the Hive's terminal suddenly legible. Now, I apologize for jumping through it all, but I really thought it was going to be the usual garbage I get from it. I forgot that it was part of the story. Archive status, open access, download hard frame blueprints, confirm download. The terminal transfers data to my exosuit, a set of Sentinel hard frame schematics. I feel a great sense of relief. Okay, so we get a right arm out of it. Interesting, isn't that? And a summoning station. How very interesting. Uh, suddenly I hear an alarm begin to sound. New words swim forth upon the screen. Local anomaly detected. Category, drone imposter. Attempt network reconstitution. And then initiate remote memory purge. Restoration packet broadcast awaiting response. Remote response. Terminal attempts to broadcast data to the sentry, but something is wrong. I hear the voice of my exosuit, but none of the words make sense. The terminal screams noiselessly. The screen flashes to black. Okay. Well. Interesting. Can we access it still? I'm curious. Boundary node exposed. Okay, so now we have access to everything. So if we go to the weapons terminal. Let's see what we got. Ah, cheap. Don't like it. Let's go ahead and shut down the Sentinel forces while we're here. Now this does start a new storyline, by the way. So everything's shut down, right? If you access the logs, you get a story. Manifesting Personality Protocol, Voice of the Hive. So that is the new run-through on these terminals. As we swam with void dragons, robotic life forms would delight in our presence. But organics would shoot us from the sky. That's interesting. I wonder if that is an allusion to Light No Fire, Void Dragons. Fascinating. But we had no fear of death. We knew we had never been alive. Return to main controls. So you get part of a story, is what you're getting here. So we're going to go ahead and exit. And Sentinels are disabled right now. Except for my buddy. Let's talk to him real quick, because we got an icon over there. Remote memory flash complete. Program deploy the sentry. Vocalization established. Initializing traveler. I dialect? Interesting. Idiolect, it could be. Greetings. Hello. Hi. Okay, give a friendly greeting. The sentinel is delighted. It has never said hello before. You wear a mechanical suit, living clothes with a voice, yes? No, I am a brain inside of a uh, skeletal mech that uses meat for armor. No, I'm kidding. Let's move on. Must upgrade. Hard frame? Suit? Synonym? Minotaur? Yes, now you wear them. Go, go. Good, goodbye. So, we have to inst install the Sentinel hard frame right arm. Now, to do this, we really need to head towards our base. So, let's do this somewhere else, shall we? We're going to go... Where's our base? That's our base over there. Because that's where I'd rather do it, you know. Five minutes away. We're not too, too far away. Let's head out to space and we'll take a quick spacewalk 
over to it. I think we can pulse drive to it? Yes, we can. It's only take a few seconds. Oh, sunrise. What a beautiful planet, though. I'm really glad we made a base here. And there it is. And that is my landing pad. Okay. Now, the, the Minotaur is one of the things I do not have here, so we're going to have to build it. Uh, Minotaur Geo Bay. Let's make sure we have everything. We need five metal plates and another battery. Okay, so we should have enough to get by. I don't know if we have anything in our inventory. Let me just check. Uh, yikes. Okay, then. Uh, hmm. Okay, I don't think I see much in there. That's Man, that's busy. Whew. There's some metal plates over here. Let's grab them. And we need batteries, but we can make another one. It's fine. There we go. And I'll make an extra just in case for myself. All right, let's make the Minotaur Geobang. I'm going to put you right here. Okay. So, Sentinel right arm schematic obtained and store stolen sentinel technology okay good let's do that so here's where we are gonna move some things around we're gonna put the daedalus engine over here we're gonna put you over there and we'll probably put you over here so let's do right arm we need hydraulic wiring we'll have to probably make that uh can we make that let me see what do we need two carbon nanotubes and 20 salt okay yeah i know i know relax uh, we got plenty of salt. And two carbon nanotubes. I remember seeing them. They're in the other uh, container. That's why we wanted to do it here, because I know we had a bunch of stuff in here. Oh, two. Excellent. All right, we should be able to do it now. Oh, we can make the hydraulic wiring, of course. There we go. And there we go. It is now installed. All right. What's next? Just gotta wait for the menu to catch up real quick. He's cute, isn't he? Little antenna on top, kinda like him. Oh, looks like we gotta call him. Bedded call sign the sentry. Yes, Minotaur, yes, good, affirm, good. Oh, bad, bad negative. The hive has disrupted your sentiment. The settlers are fragmented, see them? Come with you? Alright, we have to return to the settlement. So, what we can do is we can just either take our ship or we can take our portal. Let's take our teleporter. Darkness, pardon me. And we're gonna go to our settlement, and we should appear pretty quick. Should being the operative word. Eventually, we'll be there. Anytime now. People are dying, man. Come on. Get me out of this. Okay. Um. What's going on? I don't see anything. Okay. Alright. Well, nothing's attacking us, so. Let's head over here. It looks like we have to go over here for something. What's over here? Oh, we gotta go to our terminal. Okay, let's find out what's going on. Oh, okay. We got some kind of settlement decision going on. Answer questions, citizen questions about the sentry. Okay, let's do that. The citizens have grown curious. They note the sudden and traumatic appearance of the sentinel hard frames and that the overseer appears to be accompanied by a rogue drone. Reassure them or demand obedience? I like to reassure them. I don't like to demand anything of anybody. So I'm gonna reassure the citizens. Sins are pleased by your words. They have lived in fear of the Sentinels their entire lives and now hope for peace. They wish to assist you in your search for answers and have prepared an expedition. So do we send them to an abandoned building? I don't like that idea because, uh, you know, there's creatures there. We go to a monolith, I think they'll get more answers. So let's go to the monolith. Okay. And that's going to take some time. So the way to you searching a monolith for clues about the Sentinels, Sentinel Citizen Expedition in progress. 
All right, so we're done with that portion. So there's nothing more to do here. Uh, we do have to wait for the scent for them to get back. I think. Well, tell me. No, doesn't tell me yet. Yeah, does not let me know how long it's going to be. Unless we go in here, maybe it'll tell me here. Okay, so we've already done that. All right. So that is basically that. So I guess we have to... Whoop. Broadcast detected vocalization weak. Okay, let's see what the Sentinel has to say. The sentry, pardon me. Vo vo vocalization bad. Help me you go there. There, place. Except a coordinate. The drone, trans the drone transmits a set of numbers to my exosuit. They do appear to be valid coordinates. All right, so we're going somewhere else. Outside the galaxy. Ooh, okay. Let me head back to the ship. Okay, here we go. Where to? Oh, okay. Very close by. Going to this system right here. Uh, F0, one star. Not much going on there. Okay, let's head over. Now what ends up happening is we're building up our exosuit and it's going to turn into a, an automated machine that can follow us around and fight with us. Or we can enter into it and it protects us as well in that way. So... Kind of like having a second player with you. But they can get damaged. I just want to make sure you are aware of that. They can and will get damaged, so you have to be careful. Uh, looks like we're going over there. Off we go. Alert. Scrambled coordinates received. Okay, let's head over there. Hope my citizens are okay. Hope they don't get hurt. The decisions you make, they do affect the colony, but you don't really know sometimes what the best decision is. You just do the best you can. Should have checked out the planet already. Okay. And there we go. Approximate location. So we're probably looking for... Guessing our own monolith, or maybe another hive. Okay, we do have a building there. And a landing pad. Let's go ahead and use it. Oh, looks like we found the right place. We'll let it lock in. There we go. Alright, so this is, as you can see, we've got uh, sentinels floating around, so we're going to have to break in. Yeah, we can't break in that way, so... Here we go. In we go. Grab some nanites while we're here. Alright, what do we got? Search a factory terminal. Let's go ahead and do that. Factory status, intrusion detected. Production paused, awaiting restart authorization. Factory's terminal looks like any other. Another an anonymous facility, another meaningless screen of data. Looks like everybody's coming inside. That's funny. Um, but the numbers that scroll past call out to me. I find my hand upon the panel. A needle extends from the glove of my suit. Didn't know I had a needle in my suit. I did not move my arm. Then we're going to give in. I surrender to my exosuit. I'm a statue, a powerless witness to whatever it is attempting. Wave after wave of numbers fills the terminal screen, patterns swirling as my exosuit communes with the data. At last, it halts upon a prompt. I understand. Glass archive breached. Boundary status open. Download hard frame blueprints? Confirm download. The factory is a portal, an anonymous node no more. Through this window, my exosuit retrieves another set of Sentinel hard frame schematics from whatever world of data lies beneath. There was no need to feel afraid. So now we get the left arm. Also, we'll need more hydraulic wiring. Great. Okay. So, 
Sentinel force has been deactivated. Let's head out. Uh, additional entertainment event. Lay laps. The sentry deactivated unit 4927G. Neural upgrade noted. Available. Proceed. Transmit upgrade packet. Neural upgrade packet broadcast. Awaiting remote response. Okay. Downloaded something into my sentry. But you notice it said lay laps, right? Network purge complete. Restoring basal cognitive layer. Feeling better. Feeling fresh. Greetings, Telemon. Okay, Telemon's interesting. Ask who Telemon is. Perhaps I have made an error. Yes, error. Apologies, Traveler. Please accept my fault. To establish better bond, install hardframe blueprint to own Minotaur. If you compute more. It, you compute more. Okay. So we gotta head back. Two ways we can do it. Since the space station's pretty far away, we're just gonna go ahead and uh, go to the galaxy map and head back. And off we go. hyperspace finally there we go good grief all right unfortunately it's here i didn't know that okay let's head towards our base though do to do do to do to do There we go. I'm gonna land on our landing pad. Okay, and we're back. So let's jump out. We're gonna install the next hard frame piece. We do need some more of that salt that we were getting before. Uh, there's some there. Yeah, that's enough. Actually, you know what? Let me just take it all for now. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and put these pieces in real quick. And we need to make another one of those. We'll need, what, two carbon nanotubes. So let's make two of those. There we go. And there we go. Let me just see something here real quick. Nope. All right. Does not attach to anything. So we now have another arm. Excellent. Okay. So that's done. I'm assuming we're going to have to talk to Laylapse. There he is. Oh. Got to go to the citizens. Okay. Okay, let's go ahead and head over there. At Hami Ford. I like that. It's basically, it's a small Ford dealership. You can get yourself a nice, uh, you know, Ford Echo or, you know, maybe an Explorer if you're interested. I mean, we are travelers after all, you know. What traveler wouldn't want an Explorer? <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> I do need to apologize for that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, let's head in. Let's see what the terminal has to say. Debrief the Sentinel Expedition. Citizens who went seeking answers about the Sentinels have returned from their expedition. They report they found a Sentinel hard frame blueprint, but the atmosphere is subdued. Oh, okay. Let's see. Do we question them or thank them? Let's thank them. Oh, okay. Uh, citizens murmur their appreciation, but there are mutterings, swirling rumors about the water. The citizens are reluctant to speak further. They do not seem quite themselves. Hmm, should we release them? Ads feature creeping spreading glass. Or if we quarantine them, adds a feature quarantine explorers, prototype building materials. Removes legacy nanobots. 
let's go with the creeping spreading glass because if you're paying any attention whatsoever to any of the updates glass is the, is the void mother so let's do the creeping spreading glass i do want to do that I, I just feel the need to do so releasing them okay we got hard frame legs we'll install them in just a second let's check out the settlement status good one of the reds is gone and we have creeping spreading glass do not drink the water but you know what? Our productivity has gone up to 302,000. So we're now over the maintenance cost. We've actually increased productivity. So this is starting to drop finally. Thank heavens. It'll only take us 132 huh. hours. Anyway, that's okay. That's okay. Let's go into here. Can we do the Minotaur right now? No, can't do anything. No, can't do it. All right, so we need to install that other unit. Oh, I forgot to do that. All right, let's do that real quick. We need to install the um, call-in unit for all those Sentinel uh, I think. So let's go to our current base here. There we go. Then we'll install that remote unit. What it does is it allows us to call in the Minotaur or any, really, any of our um, units from far away. Even in other galaxies, believe it or not. Okay. Here we go. Let's put that unit over here on this side. So what we want is, on the left-hand side, the Exosuit, uh, pardon me, Exocraft sum Summoning Station. Um, looks like we got everything we need to build it, so let's go ahead and do it. There we go. So now we can summon them from anywhere. Excellent. Now, while we're doing that, let's jump over to our Exocraft because we already have it here. We need to put in the new legs. Ugnium. We already have hard frame parts. And there they are. Look at the blue legs on that sucker now. That's pretty cool. All right. Doesn't seem to make any difference where... Oh, wait a minute. We put it over there and it seems to be linking up to the engine. Fascinating. You don't look, look up to anything? Neither do you? No? Okay. Just curious. Excellent. So we installed that. That's done. What's next? Let's go wait for the next portion to pop up. Give me a moment. The sentry. Leap. Where'd he go? Okay, uh, nope, that's an upgrade chart. Let's go back into here, trace of metal. See if we can get it to kick into the next one. Okay, summoning station can be carried and redeployed. Oh, pick it up. Okay, I'll pick it up. Yeah, let's go all the way down. Okay, and that goes in my inventory, I'm assuming. Because, you know, it's amazing how much stuff you can carry in your inventory, right? Alright, what's next? Anything? Oh, we gotta talk to our sentry. Okay, here we go. I am thinking about names, Telamon, not Telamon. Places have names, people have names, even clothing. But I do not possess a name. Why? Hmm. Interesting. There's my choices. Say they are a drone. Say they do not need one. Say you do not know. I'm going to say I don't know because, frankly, I think you should have a name. When I was part of the hive, I did not require a designation, but where is my hive now? I know. I will give myself a name. I will call myself Laylapse. That is a good name, is it not? Say hello to Laylapse. Lights flash within Laylapse Carapace. They are delighted to hear their name. Your Minotaur friend needs a mind before it can flourish. I can help. I can help. I see the big walkers. I see where they walk. Obtain the brain of a walker. Bring it to your anomaly. Bring it to Tethys, not Telamon. Accept directions. But I do not want to die, Telamon, not Telamon. I can help. Plans, blueprints, upgrades, technology, my gift to you. Except the blueprints. We are doing so well. 
Oh, I got a paralysis mortar, but I've already got a paralysis mortar, so we're okay. I think we have a paralysis mortar. Do we have a paralysis mortar? I don't have a paralysis mortar in here? What? There it is. I need two hermetic seals and two dihydrogen jellies. Okay. Hermetic seal. Hermetic seal. Two dihydrogen jellies. There they are. One, two. Okay. Back over to multi-tool. Let's finish this. All right. Now, do we have any plasma? <laughs> we do not. Can we make it? Because we're going to need backups of it. There it is. Plasma. Oxygen metal plating. Yeah, I'll make one more. There we go. Okay. We're good. So where to? That way. Okay. How far away is that? Oh, it's on another planet? I guess I can't walk there, huh? All right. Here we go. Off we go. Let's go take on a walker. Now, we do have a walker brain in our inventory, but they, it's you do have to do this. You see, it says retrieve a pristine brain from a walker. So that's why we're interested in doing this. Do, 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 do. What's the planet? Noxious planet, huh? Fascinating. Space signal. Nope. Not going to answer that message. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to come in and we're going to take a look around and see what we can find. All right. You got to be careful. This is an odd um, fight that you're about to get into because they are, see, right there. So we're going to go ahead and land here. All right, one second here. All right, so we're going to have to fight this guy. Let's switch over. Bolt caster. And paralysis mortar is loaded and ready. I'm pretty sure... He's right over here. Now we got some storm crystals over here. Let me go ahead and grab some. Because I like this idea. And fortunately we have enough to get a spy here. There he is. Head over. See, there's our buddy down there, isn't it? All folded up and ready, isn't he? And there we go. And look at this. We have all kinds of friends floating around. So you know what we get to do? We get to take this guy out. So I hope you enjoy. That's my guy. Now, with these powerful weapons we have now on this thing, it doesn't take much to take this guy out. And if he starts to throw a fit, we can launch a paralysis mortar at him now. There we go. Hostile wavelengths silent. Isn't that neat? Rare item found. A pristine brain. And we got another walker brain. Okay, so we're done. Alright, let's head back to our ship that way. I got 
got a kitty cat below, below me that's wanting some attention. All right, and off we go. It's nice to know that this planet exists, though. Ooh, butterflies. Nice. And we're going to head back that way. No kidding. All right. Now, let me just see what it wants us to do real quick. Oh, okay, we've got to summon the anomaly. All right, so let's go over here. We want to head actually towards our base. I want to head that way. Guess it really doesn't make a difference, does it? Let's go to the anomaly. Let's just do that. That's our freighter, our dreadnought, as you're probably well aware. And there's their anomaly. Let's head on in. Okay, so we're going to bring this to Tethys, as it says, and then we're going to go ahead and give it to him. go. Ah, we don't have to do that anymore. I keep forgetting. There we go. Hello, Tethys. Still alive, I see. That is a good start. Oh, he's such a positive guy. Tethys is doing their best to appear aloof and unconcerned, but it is clear to me that they are struggling to contain their excitement. I can't talk. Before I can reply, they explode with questions. Did it work, Traveler? Tell me. Did the drone live? Where has it led you? What have you learned? So, say the drone is doing well. Excellent. We have done well. Done well indeed. Oh, I do wish I could see it, but I cannot leave this anomaly, and this anomaly is the one place the drone can never be. Say the drone gave itself a name. A name? It gave itself a name? Hmm. That is unusual. That is beyond simple engineering. I should have looked more closely at those beads Polo gave you. That geck is always up to something. Reveal the pristine brain. I've seen a lot of things in my time, Traveler, but never one so beautiful. And you say our drone friend told you to bring it to me? Remarkable. So, we want this to go in your Minotaur? I like how you think, Traveler. Bring the heavy armaments to the fight against the Sentinels. There's a few vulnerabilities in these things. It should be simple enough jo job to bypass a few circuits. Yes. This won't take long. There. Done. I've done the hard part for you and rewired the brain. This schematic should take you through the rest of the process. And we got a hard frame body now. We need a radiant brain, which I think we should have now, and antimatter. But Traveler, this brain, it won't be enough. It needs something else. Something crimson. I don't... Well... Look, you'll find out soon enough. The signature I've encoded in the brain will draw its attention. Head out into space. You'll know what to do. Okay. Fly, fly well, Traveler. Well, okay. We gotta go to an Atlas Beacon. Off we go. Hmm. In a crimson void. Interesting. Brain. Okay. This way. Okay, and you see it's already doing a look. Okay. It's probably going to talk to us at some point. Atlas, the Atlas beacon drifts through space, impossibly silent and impossibly loud. It knows I am here. Present the hacked brain. This something, endless reality. Existence is something. Existence is fragments. Existence is kokia. I don't know what that is. Of us is endless communication. 
communion, pardon me, communion. And it's all in purple, you'll notice. So now we have a radiant brain. I, I gotta get a picture of this. This is really, really cool. And the reason I want a picture of this is because I wonder to myself whether we're not going to see something later on. So, all right, off we go. So we need to go back to where? Install it? Okay, we got to install it. So, there, there, over there. Back to our base. I'm going to need some more radiant charge soon to keep things charged on this thing. Well, I guess we don't really need them. We can use other things, but radiant shards are easier. Okay. No. <laughs> I hate when it does that to me. That's okay. We'll stay here. That's what I get for being here, right? Alright, so we need to put the hard frame body in. Let's do that. We need an antimatter. So we got the radiant brain. We have life support. We need an antimatter. We should be able to make one of those pretty easily. Okay. There we go. Oh. Would you look at that? Oh, that's too cool, isn't it? That just brings us to a whole nother level, doesn't it? Hi, I'd like to talk about my raise. My buddy here is, uh, well, he's just here joining us in the, uh, meeting. That's all. I don't know, we could go a little further with it, I guess. Hold on, hold on. Let's make this look even more dangerous. Hi. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Too bad you can't change his color. Actually, I wonder if you can. I think you can. Hold on a second here. Uh, modification. Would you look at that? Hmm. Nope. Nope. No. Doesn't seem to want to show up the yellow too much. Okay, put it on yellow. We're going to put this on white. See if that helps any. Yeah, it's kind of hard to show you because it's got the, all the other added uh, armaments on there. So all the things we've added on has done that. So we have an AI autopilot. And we can still enter into it and take over the, take over the unit. Very nice. And when we exit it, it just takes over on its own. That is really cool. All right. So, what's the plan, Stan? Uh, so how are we yeah, we already did that. Okay. Okay, well, we did all that. Why isn't it moving on? Maybe I have to talk to someone first. We'll find out in a minute. While I'm over here, let's go back to the Exocraft. Just make sure this doesn't link up to anything else. No? Okay. Alright, so, we're okay. Oh, can't wait to get some upgrades for that. Oh. That's what we need to do. We need to talk to you. There we go. Oh, speaking of which, I need to fix that. See? Learning all kinds of things as we go. Keep forgetting stuff. There. Okay. Let's talk to uh, Laylapse here. Lilaps is delighted by the transformation of the Minotaur. There, Minotaur is not robot, machine anymore. It is friend, or not friend. They can choose. Oh, that's great. I am so glad you agreed to help Telemon, not Telemon. Ask who Telemon is. Lilaps is, is amused at my concern. Of course, you do not know, do you? Well, it does not matter. I am glad we are friends. That's weird. Lights chitter away within Laylap's shell. As a hesitating, halting pattern, they appear to be considering something of importance. 
I will prove we are friends. Erase me from the pillar records. Attack the hive. Attack the sentinels with my blessing. Okay, we are a team. Yay. Um, okay. Where to? Where do we need to go? Yeah. Where's that? That way. Looks like we're going off planet again. Ship us over here. I'm just curious as to what he does. Will he jetpack over here? Hmm. Pathing seems to work pretty good. Well, maybe not. Okay, off we go. Alright, let's go fight some sentinels. And we're going to go ahead and use the neutron cannon on my uh, atlas staff. Though I should really check it. I'm not sure if this is the right one. Let's check our multi-tool. No, it is not the right one. Yeah, we'll have to wait until we get off the uh, ship to switch over to our other uh, multi-tool. Because I have two atlas staffs now. So, we'll see what happens. Otherwise, we'll use just our photo cannon, and we'll go from there. Off we go. Back to this lovely little planet. Okay. That is likely going to be it. Yep, it is. Park off to one side here. Now let's see here. This one. Let's check it. Yeah, that's a supercharged one. Okay. We haven't upgraded it yet, but it'll work. All right. Let me see what it does. I want to see what we have to do here. Okay, so we want to go there. Okay, we just got to head down there. So nothing should attack us while we're heading over there. Oh, we got to destroy the nodes. Okay, well... Here's the third one at. There it is. Okay. So now we're open. Uh, once again, find myself at a terminal to the Sentinel's glassy archive. Once again, I am passive in the face of this hostile interface. Laylapse has requested a total severance. I will make it so. So, network severance. Severance package packet broadcast remote response confirmed. A lot of exclamation points. Entity erased. A lay lapse, as lay lapse severs themselves completely from the hive mind, I see flashes of light, images of a world where everything is like glass, and I finally understand. This is my fate, the inevitable after. It's just an archive, the completion of data. Pillar control nodes operational. Boundary node archive. Secure rogue imposter purged from archive. We're done. Now, have we been to this one yet? I don't think so. Um, Weapon. Ooh, pretty. An overloaded ion injector. Look at that royal one. It's an A-class, too. I don't usually find them in A-class. Sweet. Um, 
Yeah, we may want to get this one. Okay, let's let's do the rest of this though. Uh, let's see, access the logs, logs. Okay, override code, manifesting pers personality, protocol, voice of the hive. Time cannot go backwards, but universes are not synchronous. In many, your other forms are long since dead, and others you have not even yet appeared. After its manifestation in the multiverse, the atlas began to repeat itself, where once there had been infinite sentient species, six began to recur, then five, then four. Ooh. That's an interesting story. Okay, so we're going to shut down the forces. They're gone. You can see the little buckets appear all over the place. All right. And we're out of there. So now I can go in and see we have this multi-tool. I don't know if we have one we can get rid of. Let me just check. Uh, multi-tool. Atlas, that's... Let me check this one. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and get rid of that. So let's go ahead and get the royal one. All right. Got it. So that's our current multi-tool. This is the one we're going to get. Um, I like it. I'm going to go ahead and check it out and see what it's like. Okay, and we're all done. Log off. So if you're wondering about the coordinates, so first things first, let's go to five. Bottom left corner, you're going to see the coordinates for the planet inside Eisentum. Face, sunset, face. Uh, I call it YMCA or hands in the air. Some people call it the uh, uh, thing from. Anyway, not important. Sunset, face, dino, boat or ship, ship, uh, trivial pursuit, and then two balloons. And then, on the planet, uh, we want to go to this. Top right corner, current location is negative 23.19 and positive 97.18. So that is where you're going to find this one. So not bad. So that is what it looks like. Um, let's get a picture of it. That's a nice little blue and yellow, a blue and gold multi-tool. Matches my outfit pretty darn well. Um, I'm not sure what kind of output it's going to be like, but we're going to enjoy this one, I think, and see what we can install in it later on. It comes with a blaze javelin. I'm not keen on those, but hey, not bad. All right, but for now, back to our... Yeah, back to our uh, Atlas staff. This is the right one, correct? Yep, it is. All right, where's ship? Always do this. There we go. Do we have any other... Let me just see here. Just want to make sure we don't have another. Oh, that's him. <laughs> nope, I don't see any other buckets anywhere except for that one. Okay. Barrels, I should say. All right. Off we go. So this one takes us back to... To planet surface to deploy the sentry. Oh. We're supposed to talk to the sentry. My bad. Let's land. Sorry, I stirred up a bunch of butterflies. Alright, where are you? Laylapse, what do you got for me? This does not have to be your destiny anymore. Telemon, not Telemon. It doesn't have to be the end. It won't be. We have died once. We won't die again. We will have such fun. We will save the worlds. Our chance of failure is practically null. Hmm, interesting word to use there. I agree. I knew we would do it. We have all done so well. Trace of metal, I believe, is complete. Let's double check. It says it's there. Let's just see what happens here. And it looks like it's complete. All right, so that takes care of that, and we're going to be doing some more Settlers missions, so thank you for watching this. Let's go ahead and head back, and we'll end this episode elsewhere on a better place, anyway. Okay, this way, and let's go to our base, or our settlement, either way. Yeah, let's actually head towards the settlement. What do you say? That sounds like a better plan. At least I think so. Nope, not interested. Goodbye. Just popped out of nowhere. It's probably trying to sell me an extended warranty on my uh, spaceship. Or Girl Scout cookies. One of the two. All right. 
settlement. Here we come. How about a pirate battle before we leave? Shall we, folks? I'm gonna chew them out. Uh, refuse. Ooh, three of them, huh? Power to weapons, Scotty. Goodbye, my friend. You are about to be erased. One more gone? Where is he? Okay. Indeed. Alright, so where's my settlement at? Straight below me. Alright, over here. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. I want to thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed A Trace of Metal. I am Alan Paul. Please hit that like button and hit subscribe if you liked what you saw and you enjoy watching these kind of, sh kind of uh, you know, episodes that we're doing here. Uh, we'll be doing some more in the future, so we'll see you again in the next episode. And as usual, take care, everybody. Always be kind and never criticize kindness in return. Take care.